Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today in Hong Kong, Hot Toys have released their 1-6 scale John Wick figure from the film John Wick 2. And uh, the actor Keanu Reeves, who plays John Wick, has been captured likeness-wise about 100% here. Uh, depending on lighting and the way it's hit in the face, I mean, even in harsh lighting it looks like him. And I've seen pictures of uh, Keanu Reeves himself holding this figure and looking quite pleased with himself, literally. Uh, but there's the pencil. <laughs> it's very very cool that it comes with that and john wick oh that's a great picture as well the first john wick movie um really blew me away i wasn't expecting much and i just watched it one evening and was very very impressed and watched it again soon after a second time then john wick 2 comes along which is you know this figure is based on john wick from part two uh, this suit that he's wearing is actually um, bulletproof you know if you watch the movie and it's very cool how they do their own little, uh, all the stuff from the John Wick world, the Underground Assassins League, stuff like that. But the weapons that come with the figure are incredibly detailed. And here they are on the desk here. I think that's the desk you get with the DX11 Joker. That desk always, or the table always comes in handy. But great weapons and a great head sculpt, as you can see from that picture there. Nice the way the lights come in and hit in the right hand side of his face. Sculpted hair rather than rooted hair. I'd, I'd go with that for this figure. Um, I think the sculpted hair looks great. I think the head sculpt looks great. Uh, just all around. I love the, the little cuts and scrapes. A little bit of that always helps with an action figure like this. Um, and it was kind of a surprise to see Hot Toys do a John Wick figure in the wake of all of the Star Wars figures and Marvel and DC stuff. Uh, I mean, John Wick is certainly successful enough to uh, warrant a Hot Toys release. I'm sure this figure will do well. I mean, just look at that. <laughs> it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, but I think rooted hair on this guy, obviously custom head sculpts, you're going to see them once this figure's uh, released everywhere and people are starting to get their uh, figures coming to them. I'm sure you're going to see a few custom or modified uh, head sculpts where the sculpted hair has been replaced with rooted hair and done well. It can be, you know, it can be incredible. And uh, the head sculpt looking as good as it does, rooted hair is only going to elevate this piece considerably. But... I understand why Hot Toys went with sculpted hair and it works very well here. So, his suit uh, it seems to fit very well, very well tailored. Again, it is meant to be bulletproof in the film, so uh, I've always found that really interesting. The detail and all of the... Uh, I love that picture right there. The lighting's really nice. He looks very alive, very... Uh, the only thing really giving that away is the wrist joint. Yeah, I love all these poses, the kind of typical John Wick poses where he's tilting the gun and there's some really good ones in here. But now, if you gave me the choice between, because Hot Toys have made two 1-6 scale Keanu Reeves figures, uh, one from the iconic Matrix film, that's Neo. Um, but I would choose this guy, John Wick, I would choose it because this trilogy, I haven't seen part three, but I, I've heard, you know, across the board that it's a great, great film. Uh, the first two John Wick films are fantastic and it seems like they've made a very strong consistent trilogy that's an amazing picture right there forget about it <laughs> I do want this figure there's no doubt about it and I would choose this over Neo uh, absolutely um, it looks incredible I really do like it I just love the head sculpt they really got his eyes right they got the, the way his hair falls the slight kink at the ends just the detail is incredible the little furrow in his brow Oop, taking out the bodyguards nice it would be certainly be a fun figure to pose man and do photography with and look at that that's typical john wick action right there close quarters boom <laughs> it's like a close quarters combat but with gun mixed in there so what would that be um cc c close quarters combat c c c g no close quarters gun combat all right whatever we'll move on <laughs> but i love this picture here as well with the knife uh, I remember the moment when he chooses that knife. Uh, he's very happy with that one when he finds it, when he goes to collect, uh, collect all his weapons from the guy from, uh, uh, what was it, Spaced and Shaun of the Dead, that dude. But yeah, I'm rambling. Video's about 10 minutes long and we're just about halfway through. Oh, wow. Well, he comes with all his gold coins. The oh, What was that called now that he has to... Um, you put your thumb and you bleed and you, you put your thumbprint and then... You swear yourself to, uh, if anyone ever comes and brings you one of these, you have to do the job. That was kind of the thing in uh, John Wick 2. The sequence in John Wick 2, um, the sort of first, well, 
I suppose the first act is when he's continuing to uh, take out all the Russians and he's getting his car back and then he uh, you know he packs it in and wants to just chill for the rest of his life and then he has to go do this job this impossible job at that club there this the underground uh, sort of tunnels that you're seeing in that picture uh, that scene that whole scene the whole film literally as i'm thinking about it now in my head once one amazing scene ends it just carries right on it's like the latest mission impossible movies they just don't let up it's just it's just amazing scene after amazing scene um which makes me think hot toys i mean might be something to do with tom cruise giving his likeness out but i i I could do with um you know the mission impossible uh ethan hunt figure from hot toys i know there are some third party ones that was a cool scene on the train uh when he's um fighting that guy i forget his name but that whole sequence especially where they're walking one's on the balcony one's below and they're shooting at each other with silenced pistols in the very crowded area and no one else notices <laughs> oh man but i um i love the figure i think it looks fantastic and if i had well you know if i had more space and more means i would definitely this would be on my radar seriously on the radar and you also get the gun case as well and the magazines go in there the the base that he stands on is really cool very in keeping with the theme really really nice that's a cool picture there and a uh, nice background with all of the uh, i remember that guy on the wall there that's a really cool picture as well so yeah just wanted to share the pictures with you guys and talk about the figure a little bit i'm very impressed with it i can imagine if i reviewed this it would get very high scores um i don't see anything wrong with it from these pictures at least uh, he does seem to be able to pull off all of the typical john wick kind of poses and for anyone who hasn't seen any of these movies, I honestly can't stress enough. Give them a chance, man. You don't know what you're missing out on. You ain't seen an action film like John Wick before. You just haven't. Unless you're like really into your old Hong Kong action films, you'll definitely see an influence there and stuff like The Raid and stuff like that. But John Wick, man, uh, you just get behind the character, especially in the first one. It's such a simple plot, you know. I won't go into it now, but just check out the first one and then uh, you know you know that the second one's out there to watch if you enjoyed the first one and the third one's out at the cinemas now and you know how it is it won't be long until that's out to buy as well i'm looking forward to owning the full trilogy and uh, that's another cool picture right there absolutely awesome i love the black suit with the very kind of charcoal kind of shirt or is it a very very dark blue shirt there i'm not sure but his weapons are awesome the head sculpt is awesome the tailoring is awesome it looks like they chose a great proportion body again love the battle damage on the face not too much but just enough uh, it looks like the hand sculpts are really good as well so those are my thoughts on this release i would definitely oh, i love that picture as well that is awesome <laughs> all these pictures are good figure looks good ain't gonna lie to you now yeah so like i said if i was going to choose either neo from the matrix or john wick here i'd go with john wick absolutely looks absolutely fantastic all right that is a one six scale little masterpiece right there every now and then hot toys just spank it like a naughty baby <laughs> they did with this one it looks amazing anyway guys let me know your thoughts in the comments awesome john wick figure here all right take it easy see you soon bye bye